Suspected case of the coronavirus strain from China now reported not far from the Houston area. A student at Texas A&M who traveled from Wuhan, China, is getting treatment for a suspected case of that virus. But there are now two more possible cases in the U.S., one in Los Angeles, another in Texas. Now that's in addition to a confirmed case in Everett, Washington. <laughs> Coronavirus. Man, as I was doing this story and getting the updates about the Texas uh, AM University student that could possibly have it, which, by the way, I heard that he's recovering. Uh, there was another update with another area, apparently in New Jersey. Uh, there's somebody else that's suspected of having the coronavirus. It's a 25 year old woman, a patient. This is in a, uh, the patients in Hackensack University Medical Center in New Jersey. Uh, they're being evaluated for a possible infection of the coronavirus. Uh, she was transported Thursday night to emergency and they're not really commenting any further on that. Hold on a second. I have to interrupt this video because as I was about to finish this video, I had to come back and interject because there is another suspected infected person from uh, Tennessee Tech University that's being tested and they're showing mild systems and recently has traveled. Let me tell you something. We need to enact this travel ban. Liberals, snowflakes, step aside. And we need to nip this in the butt before it gets out of control because it's starting to pop up in a lot of different places. Brazos County health officials now say a college student is being treated. So this Texas A&M University student, which is uh, identity is not being released. He actually traveled to China to Wuhan, and this is actually the origin of the coronavirus. Apparently that student had just returned from a trip to China. Now he's being isolated and being tested. They're not going to get the results back for several days, possibly up until Monday. Testing is being done right now. They say the results of that could be in the next few days. Uh, they also stated that it is safe to return back to school, which, man, I'd probably take off the rest of the week if I went to that school and start back on Monday after those results come back. Uh, but I don't know how long uh, the virus can actually live on a surface. That's a actually pretty good information to look up if it's possible told they've been isolated and are being monitored closely the big question is how many people they may have come in contact with so according to the national library of medicine government website uh, it says here that the coronavirus can survive uh, for up to two days uh, around 20 degrees celsius and that comes out to 68 degrees fahrenheit so it has quite a amount of time that it can survive like on a surface which is kind of interesting this is surviving uh, outside of the body according to the washington post the way the virus is spread is by sneezing coughing and also being left behind on surfaces and people that are not infected touching those surfaces and, and then touching their face so i wanted to share with you the information that i found during my research, it's a lot of different various websites. First of all, the coronavirus, SARS, uh, which is a previous virus, is a, a type of coronavirus. So they're somewhat like in the same family kind of. Uh, this is something that uh, was discovered or reported in February 2003. It's an acute respiratory syndrome. Now, the guy that actually helped identify SARS, he commented on this situation. He's a virologist, and he said that he feels that a bigger outbreak is certain. He said that uh, he estimated conservatively that this outbreak could be 10 times bigger than the SARS epidemic. So he said conservatively. So he's playing it safe. It could be worse. He believes. I don't know if this is like a fear mongering thing, but it seems like something to be taken serious. Now, he said that because the, the SARS uh, was only transmitted by only a few super spreaders. I'm not even sure what that means. Comment down below if you know what that means in a more defined part of the country. Now, this coronavirus, it started appearing between December 12th uh, and 29th. Uh, the people that were first, um, I guess, infected or getting sick were these sellers at a local wholesale seafood marketplace. So this is something that, well, the coronavirus is, I believe, it's something that's usually transmitted from animal to animal, but this one went from animal to human. Animal to human, and then human to human. And it's in this market that authorities believe a deadly new strain of coronavirus emerged. It's now been shuttered and authorities say disinfected. 
So let me give you some of the latest numbers and then we'll jump a little bit into the history of SARS and MERS. Uh, so according to the Washington Post.com, uh, cases of the virus have been detected around China, Hong Kong and Mako from Santa right and other countries, including Japan, South Korea and the United States and Thailand, Singapore and Vietnam are the latest to join the list. So far, there's a death toll of 25 people confirmed in China with 835 people infected. Now, as far as the SARS virus and the damage that it did, supposedly 8,000 people were infected with the SARS virus and almost 800 people died in the 2002 pandemic. The virus spread to nearly 40 countries. Uh, in 2002 and 2003, the same type of virus was associated with the similar outbreak of MERS, which was first identified in 2013. According to WHO, MERS was responsible for 850 deaths worldwide. So as far as what I would do, man, I say shut all the travel down from those countries. I would shut it all down, close all the borders right now close all the borders. Nobody's coming from anywhere. In Wuhan, China, where the virus first emerged, police barricaded roads, blocked access to trains, and patrolled the airport as the city shut down in an effort to contain the virus. So the situation is resolved, uh, and so the people over here in our country are safe. It might be already spreading. I would just shut all the travel down. That's what I think they should do before it gets worse. If it does get worse, then I think that's where it needs to go. Um, but comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. How do you feel about this? Is this being exaggerated? Is this not going to be anything? Are you worried about this? Inside hospitals, people are scrambling for screenings and at supermarkets, worried residents cleared shelves. Viruses infection is really going to be a thing of, um, or maybe it's only a matter of time when humanity becomes, uh, uh, faces a, a plague, right? It's only a matter of time almost, uh, with, um, some of these things being manufactured, uh, the resistances constantly evolving, uh, you know, I don't know. And I don't know what's up with this whole animal to human thing and animal to animal. And then these things aren't supposed to cross the humans. I don't know if these are people eating things they are not supposed to. The streets of this typically vibrant community are now a ghost town or eating things inappropriately. I don't know, man, but coming down below. Thank you guys. Give me your feedback. Do you prefer content like this where it's a little bit more research? It takes longer to make, uh, but do you prefer the higher quality content like this versus the quality content that I did the last couple of days where it's kind of like fast and I'm just sitting there and I'm looking at the screen kind of comment below. And let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback. Take care of yourselves. Peace. I see potential.